What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Vegas Bishop. So today I'm going to do a little comparison. I like to do this sometimes. It's kind of fun for me. I'm going to compare the iPhone to just an everyday camera, like something inexpensive. And my camera of choice is going to be XP120 by Fuji Films, which is only $140 to $170 depending on where you get it. It's completely waterproof. It's 1080p, just like the iPhone. 30, 60 frames per second. Um, I think down to 25 as well, or 24 as well as the iPhone is. So it's actually pretty good for a camera that small. And it's actually one that I used at one point myself. And I'll link up the video on the top here about when we were down at Fremont Street and we actually used that camera, this camera, the Fujifilm XB120 down on Fremont. Um, not the best at night, not the best for sound, but for vlogging somebody starting off somebody who's not going to be doing a lot of night shooting it's not a bad camera so i'm going to do a little comparison just to show you what it's like to have something an iphone or vlogging with a camera that's inexpensive so a good first test and one that i did on uh, the last video where i compared uh, the iphone to the canon 77d um, i'll link that as well was the brightness test it's vegas it's very bright here the sun's always bright so let's see how they do shooting in the sun so right now the sun is directly behind me um, i'm sure you can see it it's good to see how these cameras do with sun because when you're shooting something bright it makes a big difference something i like to do is kind of like a transition see how this focuses when i'm stepping outside i did this same thing on the canon 77d let's see how it does I like to do is kind of like a transition. See how this focuses when I'm stepping outside. I did this same thing on the Canon 77D. Let's see how it does. There you have that test. Any good test of a video is going to be comparing its quality at night and in the dark, obviously. So we're going to go to what's kind of one of my favorite spots to overlook the city at night. We're going to see uh, how they do. So here's the Fuji handheld at night. You can kind of make out the strip. Like way over there. This is the strip right through here. And it's a lot bigger in person. Now this does have a lot of... Uh, it has like three settings you can use for taking pictures at night that definitely help out, so that's cool. But for this, we're doing it for vlogging, so we're not going to use that. All right, next up is going to be the uh, iPhone 8. You can definitely make out the strip a lot clearer now. I don't even have to point to it. And as you know with the iPhone 8, it's just as easy. Though it does not have any settings for taking pictures at night, it's already got pretty good quality built in. So this is with the uh, rear-facing camera face towards me. And that kind of shows you like a big scene, nighttime quality. So we'll see what else we can do with some night um, comparisons with these two. All right, let's see how the Fuji does with zooming at night. Zoom into the uh, Sam's down there. Now you can probably hear sometimes me touching the camera. It does pick that up pretty good. Zoom back out. Not too terrible. Now the zoom test with the iPhone. The Fuji has a built-in image stabilization, so it definitely helps out a lot when you zoom in. You can see the iPhone zoom to six power here. We're gonna tap on it to focus just does not hold the same stabilization very far out but once you get back in you got the image stabilization that'll keep it from being super blurry exactly it's you okay i i, I ran out of drumsticks okay okay but i do have rainbow popsicles turbo rockets um, you know, I found one. Oh, I got one. You want one? One left. <laughs> All 
Alright, so we're out at the park in Summerlin. It's a brand new park up here in the foothills of Summerlin. Thought this would be a great place to do a little bit of testing, preparing this camera to the iPhone. Now, this camera does not have a front facing screen, that's an issue, but you get the app right on your phone and you pretty much can see what you're shooting. That's kind of what the flip out screen does, it lets you see where you're framed at and stuff. But when you got this, you can start the recording and everything. And you're right there, so it's almost as good. Pretty good for a camera, it's only $170, I have to say. So it's a little bit dusk out, it's about, I don't know, we'll call it 4 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock right now, but uh, so we're gonna see how these do also in dusk time frame, as well as day, so it's kinda in between, will be a good comparison there, and see how these do. And I wanna show you real quick for my camera, I'm using the standard Joby Pod. And then I'll show you here in just a second what I'm using for my phone, which is my favorite, the iGadgets uh, tripod. It's one of my favorite you things to use. It's smaller and much easier to use. And I'll link all those down below too, so you can uh, just click on that and uh, grab them up really. So for the iPhone, I'm using the uh, iGadgets that I was just talking about. I add a little bit of Velcro in there, just so it sticks together. But this is super easy to use. It screws in right at the top up here where this piece is, which I'll also link down there. And this is the iPhone holder. But awesome to use for any camera up to DSLR and it locks in place you just unlock it super easy it terrified me a little bit So like I was saying before, this does have built-in stability, which is pretty impressive for a camera this small to have something like that. So, super cool. Let's see how our zoom does, though, during the day. Something pretty far away. So this is zooming handheld. Right out there is the strip. And it's zoomed all the way in. Zoom and handheld again. That's maximum zoom. Definitely better during the day than it was at night. So the Fuji Films camera has the uh, microphone at the very front, little tiny dot right there. And I don't know if that has to do with the waterproof thing, but that's where they put it. So it's a little harder to hear behind, but it's easier to hear to the front, whereas the iPhone has a speaker you can hear almost anywhere. So that's an example of the time-lapse mode on this. I set it at three second bursts. So every three seconds, a little faster. And then I did, obviously, the iPhone on its regular time-lapse mode. All right. So, last little test here. We're in uh, the living room. We got artificial light above and kind of over here to the right. And it's completely dark outside. So, you know, a lot of videos that vloggers do are shot at home on tripods like this at, in the house. So let's see how it does as such. There's no professional lighting. I don't have any like ring lights or anything. It's just a uh, Ikea lamp right here and then the uh, the lights from the fan up above and then the TV's on back behind. So this is kind of a good comparison for shooting at night. So lots of you know pros and cons for both. Um, if you want me to, if you want to see a video kind of more in depth on what the iPhone can do, definitely check out the uh, iPhone versus 77D or the uh, two months uh, vlogging with the iPhone. Uh, I'll link that up above also. And then I have the uh, iPhone setup where I kind of go over everything I use for my iPhone. Plus, down below, I'm going to link. Uh, uh, links over to Amazon for my iPhone vlogging setup as well. So um, make sure you check that out if you're interested in using it. 
Well, I hope you guys liked this comparison video. So uh, I feel like it might have been a little bit better than the last one I did, which was the uh, iPhone 8 versus 77D. Um, I'll have that link down below, and I linked it in earlier as well. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe if I did okay. I wouldn't mind a little thumbs up from you. And uh, don't forget to check back. Follow these vlogs. We're going to be going to LA here in uh, two weeks, and I think I'm actually going to use the uh, XP120 on uh, that trip. So check that footage out if you're uh, still unsure what you want to buy there, and we'll see if we can't get some cool uh, water shots there at the ocean. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.